Thank you, Dirk. Um, in my name and on behalf of my uh, colleagues, Raul and Carmelo, which are, real, are here, um, and we are leading from the university side research to, um, to, to provide uh, or to, to have to, to, to make a, an observatory which is growing, you know, not just uh, to have some information, but to, to try to make the right questions uh, uh, for the destination, for the agents, for society. And uh, of course, if we can share it also with other um, destinations, perfect. So thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, if I have to frame, uh, because we have been jumping from one place to another during the day, if I uh, want to, wanted to frame uh, my presentation, I would say, okay, uh, we have the indicators, so now what? Now what? What are they useful for? And who cares? Who cares? Uh, who needs that information, really? Who's going to take the decisions? Why they don't take the decisions? Or what they don't uh, make any decisions? And why, you know, what is the gap? Uh, how to, uh, let's say, uh, walk the talk uh, towards action, no? Um, we have been working on boning water. Boning water means to put bones into water because the main problem of some uh, natural resources is that we cannot measure them. And water consumption is a fiction for all of us. Uh, water is very difficultly measured, depends on which sector is using it. Water means different things, have different units and have different uses. And um, uh, with that purpose, we have ended up in a very interesting starting point uh, to use water that. So, aquí, ¿no? En las flechas. O sea, que le tengo que dar al marido. Water shortage, water scarcity, water pollution is for many researchers nowadays one of the primary risks uh, of uh, the tourism activity, um, not only because of uh, tourism on water consumption, but because of other sectors, water consumption, for example, the Mediterranean in Spain, it's uh, already threatened by all agricultural activity. If we go to the south of Spain, rivers, lakes, um, everything is at this moment, uh, all type of activities, agriculture and tourism are at risk because of this uh, water uh, shortage and pollution problem. And um, sorry. what we started to do in the Canary Islands is to try to engage the right stakeholders into the table. One of the stakeholders that never meets, uh, that it's never, uh, in the meetings is the, are the water utilities, either municipal water utilities or uh, you know, private water utilities. They might be interested in water saving. Uh, or what do they do? I mean, they sell water as they were selling rocks, nothing of value. It's just a quantity thing on the pipe to make big cash. And that is happening all over the world, okay? so. The first thing to try to measure well water and to, um, to get the decision-making table is to uh, engage water utilities. Of course, we, have, we need to have different levels of government. We need a lot of tourism information at a local scale. And uh, of course, we want to start with large consumers. Tourism, it's a very complex sector with many types of um, firms, many types of uh, activities. So let's start with the big ones, with the really able to uh, take big decisions on investment, on standards, and on the how and where to go. And we started with, uh, um, we didn't start with tourism, we started with uh, um, residential uh, water consumption in one of the municipalities in the islands. And we discovered that uh, the water companies were already using uh, smart uh, meters uh, for uh, some residents, but also for all big uh, consumers in, in their municipalities. 
And uh, for example, for uh, residential water consumption, digitalization had already reduced consumption by 10% in one of the municipalities. That's a big reduction because digitalization is nothing. It's just to put an antenna on the, on the, um, on the metering. So digitalizations, um, um, the uh, starts up of, uh, or initiates uh, some activities and some um, especially frequent information for stakeholders that uh, lead to more actions and better decisions in water safety. So after this uh, work with uh, the water company, we decided, okay, let's move to tourism, especially to the big consumers that have uh, smart meters. And we built uh, uh, almost for two years, we, we, uh, we work on uh, building a big database, integrated database, not only with uh, all the water consumption and water features of the big consumers in uh, 11 municipalities, uh, some of them uh, the biggest uh, tourism destinations in the islands. Um, so we started to build this integrated database with water consumption, tourism infrastructure, hotels, what do they have in, um, you know, square meters, floors. Uh, we we, we uh, search all available data on supply and also on demand uh, features of the, uh, especially accommodation, firms uh, in those municipalities. So we created a dashboard for the water company. Uh, the water company is Canarawa, which is a, a firm um, from uh, Akbar and from Suez. Uh, so we are working with them, trying to push innovations from the very uh, local level. And so we created a dashboard where, where they could uh, start to know their clients, the big clients, the tourism clients, who were the tourist clients and how much water. For example, in one municipality, the big hotels and establishments consume more than 80% of the water in the municipality. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water for a municipality. So indicators started to shine uh, the local impacts of uh, tourism activity. And um, so we, we, um, we started to uh, do some uh, more formal research. What are the determinants of water consumption in hotels? And then we arrived to the magnificent uh, or the most um, or the best indicators we have uh, internationally now on water consumption. Water by uh, a square meter of pool or cubic meter of pool. We, uh, a square meter of uh, garden, which type of garden, which type of hotel. So we do have now uh, one of the largest database on water consumption historically, water consumption. Uh, and um, yeah, a lot of knowledge. Uh, but uh, at the end it was like, okay, we have the best indicators and who cares? Nobody cares. Uh, that's the gap. Uh, the people that has to take uh, or to make the decisions, um, you know, face a, a lot of difficulties or barriers in order to start, uh, you know, that movement that we are looking forward. Water digitalization for us has become the um, the road uh, for that. So, um, first of all, water prices, even they are very high in the island. Uh, are not determinant of water saving uh, decisions, not for tourism firms and not for tourists at all, uh, because they wait on their bill. Secondly, um, so we, we started to move from economic incentives for, to behavioral economics, uh, and we started to think on how to push, how to nudge, how to close the gap uh, between intentions and decisions. And uh, what happened, we wondered what happened uh, when we provided more frequent information, social references like benchmarking. Okay, how do I compare to my competitor or to my equal or to my reference? And also giving them social norms. So we designed an experiment uh, for water firms, excuse me, um, hotel firms in uh, some, uh, one of the municipalities that will be included in the virtual office where they have access to all that frequent information. And so 
uh, we made the first APRI test, and that is the results. So I'm presenting here very quick because my time is going off. So we ask uh, hotel managers, especially technical managers or operator, um, environmental managers, which type of data do you want to have? Do you want to compare yourself with the same hotels, with close hotels, uh, with the whole, uh, you know, uh, same type of establishment at your micro destination or at your municipality? Do you want to know how much weight uh, water cost into your, uh, you know, uh, red bar or red, uh, profitable by room and so on? And we presented, uh, we did a, a, a focus group with them. So we assigned different hotels and you are these and what happens when you see these, do you want to have more data? And to our surprise, for example, we, we test if it was per bed, per, per overnight. We made rankings uh, in different formats. This is one of them. So they could know if they were the 10th uh, water consumer in the destination. Um, and we also uh, try to uh, get deeper in who gets the information on water consumption and what, how do they want to receive uh, those type of reference for competition. So to summarize, yes, uh, it was really surprising, especially for me, uh, um, doesn't matter why, but uh, uh, it was really surprising that they were really, really attracted by benchmarking references uh, on water consumption. Uh, they were really surprised, uh, some of them, that, uh, you know, that the company could provide that type of information uh, um, uh, to, and they also required uh, best practices, who are the leaders uh, and what they are doing, and that we are going to include in the uh, virtual office of the water company and uh, try to see, do some experiment setting to know which are the most uh, and uh, with that, we are also working with the government to change water tariff because uh, tourism is, is invisible. Tourism uh, firms work within residential networks and within residential waters, and they are being subsidized, mainly the water consumption. So this is not only an environmental problem, but also a social problem uh, and economic problem, especially for local governments. And uh, yeah, ask them to st start uh, putting smart meetings everywhere. Sorry, it took some more time. Thank you so much. And if you have uh, any question, I'm here for you. Thank you. <laughs>